What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports. My name is Zach, and I'm here with my partner, Nonfiction. What's good with you, brother? <laughs> I was good until you missed that P right there. But uh, I'm, I'm doing good, brother. How are you doing? Uh, you know, do you need some water or something like that? You good? I, I, may, I, like, I got God's water right here. We'll, we'll drink that. But what you got for us today, man? What you got for us Look, today? Look, today we're going to check out an interesting video, man. We're going to check out how India created an $11 billion cricket empire. 11 billion 11 billies not wow. m's b's b's on that thing you know what i'm saying so we're yes. gonna check that out wow. see what this is all about um yes, sir we're going to a matchup in just a couple of days i don't know if this has happened yeah. before or after but we want to know as much as we can about the world of cricket man so why not check this out let's do it forget yeah, everything it. you think you know about cricket Welcome all right to the go on, go on. Indian I already like the hype music. Yeah. This is the Indian Premier League. It's the fastest growing sports league in the world, ahead of the NFL, the NBA, MLB, and English Premier League. That's crazy. Fastest growing sports game is worth two million dollars, but a single IPL game is worth more than fifteen million dollars. Wow. Wow. Yeah, fifteen million. That's crazy. I mean that's a lot, man. I mean those NBA stadiums aren't aren't massively huge, but they mm-hmm. get a lot of plays and they get a lot of clicks like through internet and marketing and stuff like that. And the fact that yeah. this is how much is that? Is that almost almost eight times as much? Maybe, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. The, the IPL, IPL has turned into a global cricket phenomenon that runs for two months with ten franchises, seventy-four matches. And more than 500 million viewers. Wait, and unlike the other big sports leagues, I'm, I'm assuming it's total matches, not like one team plays 74. No, I'm, I'm saying like but 74 yeah, that, is still a lot still in two lot. months. <laughs> how, how, many, how many how many players was that? Let's see. Do do a little do a little quick a little quick match. You know what I mean? Two months with 10 franchises. All right, so you got 10 franchises. So uh, 74 matches. I'm trying to think. So that'd be. That's so crazy. Still, like, what, seven? I'm trying to think, like, 74. You're thinking about playoffs and everything like that, too. I'm assuming that's what's included in this. So, yeah, I mean, you're, at you're, least, you're, what, six, seven games? Six, seven games for a season per team? No, 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 no. More than that. At 74, 74, you think it's five matchups. So, it's, it's you know, five divided by 74 is, is what, you, what you're what you getting roughly. And more than 500 million viewers. Wow. And unlike the other big sports leagues like the NFL, NBA, and Formula One, which were founded decades ago, the IPL only started in 2008. So how did India build this? Okay, hold up. That one caught me (laughs) off guard. That one caught me off guard. You're telling me to go from 2008 to like this? No, No wonder why people come to our comments and it's like, you know, we we hope the U.S. really starts advertising for cricket because yeah, they've seen the, the, ma- yeah. the mass yeah adopt the game fully because of the massive growth that they've seen in such a short period of time i mean that's it, it's 2024 that that's not that many years that's only 16 16 years that it's gotten up to this amount of viewership now we know cricket's been going on for a long time but the fact that a league can start up here and and do numbers like this 11 billion dollar company in, it's interesting in 16 cause... years they're kind of coming in a prime time in the U.S. because of viewership for NBA and NFL kind of slowly dwindling because of the bad officiating, mm-hmm. the how the t- teams are being dictated, how players are being, you know, subjugated. Like it's actually coming at the right time to actually explode in the USA. It, it definitely is. It, so. And I mean, say is is the same thing with baseball. Baseball has been on a downhill stretch for a while. They finally are making changes to try and improve yeah. the game or make it better for the viewing experience. So it's a great time. Yep. Drug or not. Back in 2007, cricket had diehard fans, but attracting new viewers and investment was a struggle. The traditional heritage type of cricket, test cricket, took five whole days per match. Bamboo? And even the shorter version, I, I the one day so. international, I actually kind of like how seven that looks. to eight hours. But in 2003, yeah. England introduced a fast paced version of cricket called T20. In T20 yeah. cricket, each match takes about two and a half hours, similar to the time span of other popular yeah. team sports, and it became an instant. I mean, it's the era of short uh, attention span, right? It's yeah. like, you know, yes, we've, been, 100%. We're, 
we haven't even tried to dive into like much ODI. I think we've done like one or two videos on ODI and we haven't done mm -hmm. anything on tests yet. A lot of people are asking us to, it's just, we know that that's such an advanced amount of like technique and, and skill and strategy that goes behind it. It's like, we jump into that. We were already overwhelmed. We'll really be lost <laughs> then, you know, but it, it's cool You're to drowning. have a shortened down form to fit mm -hmm. this era of people. Cause people don't yeah. have time to sit and watch eight hours of a match uh, for three straight days or five straight days. Whatever and when, when say. we say people, we mostly mean Americans because because True. of social media, <laughs> the top, the mental capacity of some people is very short. I blame it on Coco Melon. I don't know if y'all know what that is. I blame it on Coco Melon. <laughs> hit. That's hit very, very well. Oh, Out of there. Again. Yes, sir. After India won the 2007 International T20 World Cup, Lalit Modi, the vice president, of the board for the control of cricket in India, saw an opportunity to kill a Shout few out. birds with one stone. See, Modi had a few problems. The new upstart Indian Cricket League threatened BCCI's authority and started poaching big players. It needed mm. to be crushed. Okay. Modi had also seen the success of huge franchise models in the US and wondered why they didn't have a similar money-making cricket franchise, especially in Interesting. India, Interesting. where cricket is more like a religion than a sport so yeah i mean and and not to continue like pausing and stuff but we love giving our point of view it's like the one thing if anything the one thing that us has is the ability to market stuff right yeah to make sales money, yeah. marketing and how to make money that's the one thing that we have if if anything it's it's that so to be able to look and take different things that you learn i mean it's very smart and humble of him to be able to look at you know, I'm sure he didn't just look at us. This is obviously an American that's given this reaction. But I'm sure he looked at sports around the world and it's oh, like yeah. what worked, what didn't work, and to be able to find and mold what he wanted to be able to be as uh, successful as what it is. Yeah, very true. It also points to points to the fact that NFL, NBA, they can learn something from this man right here. Please tell. Him. Somebody <laughs> who's got Adam Silver's uh, email. The trigger. In 2008, the Indian Premier League was founded, a T20 cricket league with eight teams that would be played over just two fast paced months. New teams were created to play two in a franchise format and auctioned off to new owners on January 24th, 2008, oh. for a total of $724 million. With each so team, just, so he, cre he in a created the league created eight teams and then auctioned off those teams to, to different people to become owners. Interesting. That's interesting because normally it doesn't happen that way. It's people, people see that you have a, a league, they pay for their own team and they try to join your league. That's how it happens here in the U S but that's interesting. Right. Well, I mean, it's probably one of those things where you're seeing an ever growing sport that's, that's growing faster than ever. It's been mm -hmm. around for a long time. It's very popular in, in India as well. So it's like, issues up for grabs they can't wait to get involved because i know like yeah. with the nfl it started off with a organized group of people that were all in the same mission and then they just started off with mm -hmm. that i think there was what eight eight teams in the very beginning or something like that maybe like maybe like six or eight yeah and yeah. then gradually teams people who wanted who to buy saw in, the sport wanted to invest wanted to buy in create their own teams and then came over yeah mm -hmm. indian city it wasn't just a shorter format that the IPL committed to. The organizers went all in. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. They made it into a spectacle, and the old-fashioned traditionalists find this abhorrent. To them, that's, that's what, what I love, cricket. too. Cricket Embracing theater, the culture where, you know, as well. You have intellectual discussions as to where the ball is played and so on and so forth. Here they said, no, no, you don't need all that. You want entertainment. You want to rival what the cinema offers you, what any other form of entertainment offers you. This translated into instant success. In their first season, the league garnered almost 1.2 billion viewers and wow. made more than $100 million in revenue. Oh, yeah, yeah. This it's was a more a than 20x increase in viewership. Historically, Damn. the old format of cricket had struggled to get 50 million viewers. It becomes... Mm. Wow. Wow. I mean, it, again, it's one of those things, like, like I said, one, I love, like... His, his approach right it's entertainment he's not he's not trying to compete with and and this is like where he gets that american uh view of things it's like they try to treat it like entertainment so it's not just selling uh you know a competition but it's selling it as an entertainment something that you can go in enjoy have fun enjoy everything the the pre-game events the you know in between events at the at the end of the games all the things that surround it maybe something's going on, on the outside the arena and then embracing the culture within india as well during these these major events like we saw there 
Like yeah. that just grabs people's attention because when people feel like they have representation in a sport or representation in something, you instantly are are you know magneted to it. You want to yeah. you're attracted to it. Something which is is more sold as a product has more things going on for for the viewer when they come to the ground. Oh, and remember the Indian Cricket League? It closed after two thousand eight. Modi won. There is one simple yeah. reason that the IPL is a money-making Shut machine. Shut down, huh? Audience. The IPL promises even more entertainment, even more action, and even more excitement. India has a population of 1.4 billion that will soon overtake China for the largest in the world. It also wow. is one of the fastest growing middle yeah, classes. I did know that That part. means lots of eyeballs and lots of potential ad revenue. 80% of the money that the IPL makes comes from central revenues that are negotiated by the BCCI. That includes league-wide sponsorships like the one with Tata and the league's central media rights agreement with broadcasters like Star India. In 2022, those rights were sold for over $6 billion. $3 billion came from Disney-owned Star India for TV rights. Oh, they and involved in Disney? Billion. Yeah, they're doing things right. Well, that's why right. that that explains why Hulu actually had a license for a little while because it was because it was going through Disney. Going through Disney, so it yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Disney, I doubt you're watching, but if for some reason y'all are watching, can you bring more like availability for us to watch IPL in the states? Yeah, can we do, do that? Please. Can we make please. that something? Right? I'm tired of having <laughs> to jump through hoops to watch a sport that I'm interested in. Please help us. <laughs> came from Viacom 18 for streaming what, what rights. 15 dollars a month, Split I'll buy it. Just 74 matches makes each one worth over 15 million dollars. And as views yeah. rise, the and BCCI Viacom. can charge more Viacom and more to the broadcasters, yeah. who will make more on their side from increased ad sales and subscriptions from a bigger audience. That's why the IPL is such a big deal. It combines an exciting format of a popular sport in a country that has an exploding population. Yeah. And it's not just India. It's In 2020, the the, everything around it is just, just to more than smart. 120 countries, yeah. including wow. the United States, United Kingdom, and South Africa. This also means that the. I mean, it's interesting. They say it's broadcast to 120 countries, and I think, like you said, through Hulu, it had some things like that. But it's yeah. not like broadcasted broadcast. It's still not easily attainable. Like it's still like hard. <clears throat> yeah. You have to go out your way uh, to watch it. Like we hope it becomes easier. Especially well, that's as the streaming thing. service become more relevant. Yeah. And see, for me, because I don't have regular cable, I don't know if it, if that was accessible through regular cable, just on a different True. channel. I didn't even think about so, that me either. It's so, you know, it could, it, could have, it could have been accessible, but I don't have regular cable no more. Mm -hmm. Franchises make a lot of money. BCCI keeps only 50% from the media rights deal. The other 50% is split between just 10 franchises. An average IPL match mm, averages 30,000 people That's so attendance. sick. This allows ticket sales to account for as much as 15% of stadium. each team's revenue. Rounding out each team's revenue pie chart are individual team sponsorships, merchandise, mm -hmm. and prize money. Bats, yeah, like bales, headgear, crazy. and team kits. We had someone in our channel that, that wants to send us some jerseys. I, I got to get me a jersey, and I need to get me a cricket ball, maybe even a bat. Yeah, I, 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 I want got, a bat and a ball. <laughs> like, like, that's what I really want to do. I want to I want to get something of everything, all the sports that we yeah. cover, and have its own, like, little identification back here. Like, that, exactly. that's, that's the goal, man. Exactly. Everything is sponsored, with some franchises, like the Chennai Super Kings, making a lot more from sponsors because they have a bigger fan base. There's a powerful virtuous cycle here. By playing the most exciting format and garnering the largest audiences, the IPL makes the most. And I guess I just want to say, it, Simron is the one who offered it. So Simron, hey, shout out to you, my brother. I know you're going to be watching this. So appreciate it. Yeah, you, appreciate you. Most money, <laughs> which means they attract the best players. Superstar Virat Kohli's salary in right. the He's a dog. The man a right dog here. Dollars as he played for the Royal Challengers of Bangalore. But RCB? his IPL stardom allowed him to bank an extra $21 million through endorsements. This led okay. the IPL to bring in international stars like A.B. De Villers, a. B. David De Villers. Warner, yeah. and Chris Gale. To join and Chris Gale. Gale. We've, We've done, done all those done, dudes. We've <laughs> done all of them, yeah. Led to tensions. Test cricket was traditionally more respected than T20 cricket. The classic oh, yeah. cricket format was the ultimate test of a player 
over oh, five God, days. Right but IPL money was turning heads. In 2000. Well, I mean, that's the thing of like the classic view of things, right? It, it's the yeah. same thing in baseball for those of y'all that don't watch it. Like, there's a classic view of how baseball should be played. And like going yeah. into the 21st century, like things are changing, the viewerships are changing, the people that are watching are changing and look for different things. And it's the same thing. Test might be the most, uh, perfected form as far as like the competition and the will and, and everything that it surrounds cricket as as the sport that it is today yeah. but you know branching off and having these the t20 and these shorter forms just to bring in more money and more attention to sport it it drives people to be more interested in the test like we said this is something that if we just got thrown into test cricket I don't know if I'd be able to watch it. Like, I don't know if I'd be able to go five yeah. days after never seeing the sport or anything like that and be able to get instantly invested. But something would be like difficult. this, I could do it for, you know, a couple months, get used to it and be like, now I'm like, we're interested. Now we're getting comments. Now we're understanding the difference of like batting strategy, uh, bowling strategies and how mm -hmm. things work. Now it's like, now I, I can't wait to watch <laughs> uh, what, what they said, eight hours for five days. <laughs> now, now, now I can't wait to check out moments of that. Yeah. In 2007, only half of players said they'd still reject a national contract to play T20 cricket. That's and as crazy. the IPL drew more yeah. viewers, players, and broadcasters, real discussions began about whether test cricket would be reduced to just a few big countries. It seemed like the yeah. IPL was going to crush everything in its way. Even when COVID hit, despite stadiums losing out on ticket revenue, there were still millions and millions of TV viewers. The franchise values doubled in 2020 That's and the success insane. of the t20 league in <clears throat> india got people hungry for more ipl yeah, franchise yeah. owners are now looking to buy t20 cricket franchises in other countries like south africa hoping to replicate the ipl's success leagues have started in the caribbean australia yeah. pakistan and other countries it also arrived in the u.s as major league cricket the mm -hmm. growth of the indian premier league has been insane in 2009, one year after its founding, the average IPL franchise was valued at $67 million. 14 years later, the value of those franchises has exploded to more than $1.1 billion. That's an annualized growth That's rate crazy. of 24%. For yeah. Like, That's crazy. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about like finance and stuff like that, but I've like, I have friends and family that have done like business owning, like 24% increase yearly increase in revenue and stuff like that. In in a, it's a lot, it's a lot of money, man. Especially when your yeah. starting figure is, it was what they said. It was like 57 mil. 67, yeah. Yeah. 67 mil and you're increasing like this. That's insane. Yeah. Comparison. Over the past 13 years, the growth rate of NBA teams has been 16% and NFL teams has been 10%. And the IPL isn't slowing down. Who knows if those leagues outside of India will be successful, but you can feel confident the IPL will continue to grow in popularity and the nation of India will also continue to succeed. Check out our past video breaking down why the nation of India is poised to win the 21st century. And when it comes to, you know, the growth and how the comparison to the NFL and to the NBA, I mean, it's a good, it's a reason why those are growing much slower because they're they're at a point where they're kind of they're kind of set in stone what they want to have and what they have. so the popularity of the sport will kind of grow gradually, but it'll never it'll never be able to jump by leaps and bounds like the IPL is. Yeah, because it's so been going new. on so long. Yeah. I mean, the NFL is going yeah, over hundred, stone, over a yeah. hundred years. Same with NBA. So like you know yeah. that that increase still is good. For, yeah, but it's still what it's, it's worth. It's, it's still really impressive to grow as fast as fast and as you know the the amount of how they've grown over the short amount of time that's still really impressive so that's pretty fire it's pretty fire yeah well i mean and to sell the product on something like they said at the beginning like 50 percent of test cricket players wouldn't refuse to sign a contract mm -hmm. and it's like i wonder now if they're regretting that like you know trying to hold on yeah. to their old their old values like i said mm -hmm. like, it's a very common thing with sports because a lot of sports you know even american sports not all of them but a lot of a lot of sports are very you know historically based man they were they were brought yeah, up in a certain way to where there you know there's a, tr a a natural tradition there's those unwritten rules and and respect that you're supposed to have when playing them and you know 
over time, some of those things change. You evolve just as humans evolve, sports, entertainment, all that has to evolve. Oh, yeah. That's like, we, especially when you look at, especially when we look at a sport like baseball, which is what we, most people, most Americans would compare to cricket, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. at the same time, the things that cricket do to perfect their game and perfect the rulings in the game is what Major League Baseball needs to actually go into to make their game a better game. Yeah, better product. We, it has to fix the imperfection of the human effect on the game. And cricket is, has been working on that since the beginning. So because yeah. it's doing that. They got some of the most advanced a- technology in sports, man. They got the, and, yeah. the, the, oh, yeah. they, they had a, the, uh, that we react to not that long ago where they had the heat sensor where they, they yeah, detect first. I heat. thought that was they fire. Said, yeah. They said that wasn't even good enough. They went and developed something else. It was like cutting edge or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, they're yeah, just, yeah, they're like instantly wanting to improve to, be, per, to perfect you know, imperfect game. And like, as, as a fan of sports, like I, I understand all sports, I feel like are an imperfect game, but there's mm-hmm. certain things that need to be changed that can be done faster. Right. You know, you're not going to mm-hmm. stop the play of, of everything that happens, but whenever, uh, something is, is recalled, like you should be able to see and know exactly if it's right or wrong within a couple seconds. And if you had the technology to determine that, then it also goes quicker because you don't have to oh, have yeah. a ref sit here and, mm, for, but for it also, it's then 20 commercials, fly by you know it also gets rid of that idea of the script you know how they talk about it in nba nfl oh it's scripted it gets rid of those ideas when you have technology helping to assist the umps or referees to or judges to make the right call then people are saying well you know what that's that makes sense it's not saying it's a left up to human error because they we know that humans will say they will call something because they want to call it. They won't change their yeah. mind because they don't want to change their mind because they have pride. It's like I was watching a Very baseball true. clip. I was watching a baseball clip yesterday, and the guy threw out he the referee, the umpire got mad, wanted to throw out somebody, and then the the the, the manager saying, "Okay, so who you're throwing out?" The ref just didn't know he didn't know who he, who he wanted yeah. to throw out. He, he, he heard somebody a, clapping. So he heard somebody. Him. He heard somebody I clapping because too. they were clapping at the clip. They were they were clapping at the bad calls, and so he, the ref, referee, got upset. Want throw somebody out. Now, if they had something like cutting edge, said, "Well, we want to review it." So they go to review and prove that the ref is wrong. They don't. Baseball is taking so long to put that in the game because they already they already have something like that in the minor leagues, but they're scared to put it in the major because they know how it's going to affect the game. Where the referees who like to have control and use their pride, it's going to hurt their feelings. Yeah, a lot of them might lose their jobs. Very true. Very true. Well, look, I'll say this, guys. We, from the bottom of our hearts, appreciate you all for checking out all of our videos, man. We've been growing at the fastest rate we have since we started this channel. It's been so much fun learning this different sport and learning all the different sports. We plan on continuing to learn cricket as well as all the other international sports that we've checked out, as well as all the videos that we do currently. So make sure y'all come join us during live streams. Make sure y'all hit that like button, share it with your friends. We're not going anywhere. Um, and let us know down below if you're a fan of IPL, who's your favorite team and why. And we'll catch y'all next time. Appreciate you guys. Before we do that, yeah. once again, like I do thank you. But if you actually made it to this point, if you actually made it to this point right here, leave a blue heart in the chat. I just want to know. Mm-hmm. I want to know who made it this far. If you made it this far, leave a blue hat, a blue heart. I like that. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Love you guys. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Cheers.